Hi, I'm Kevin Stegelmeyer, and I'm the author of Paddling Long Island, New York City. What inspired me to write a paddling guide specifically for Long Island, New York City? Um, basically, I, I grew up here on Long Island. I've lived here my whole life, went to college here, and so on. Um, and I work here now. So about 26 or so years ago, I started kayaking. And I just started kind of exploring Long Island and trying to find new places to go, um, which is quite fun, just going to different places and uh, just seeing what's here. Um, and that kind of led to the book. I would take people out with me and start answering questions that people had about where to go and so on and so forth. Um, so the book kind of it was the next logical step, just kind of an excuse to go explore more, um, find new places. And, and, and I always enjoyed talking about kayaking, so being able to write about it and share it with other people was kind of awesome. Some key safety tips I cover in my book that every paddler should know. Um, one is kind of you should always paddle within your ability level. So if if conditions are rough, if it's a little bit beyond what you can safely handle, um, you probably shouldn't be kayaking in that kind of condition. Um, I kind of tell people, you know, when in doubt, don't go out. So if you're not totally sure it's the right condition or if it's right for you, um, don't do it. It's just stay on the beach that day um, wait for a better day um, a big thing as well is just let people know that you're going kayaking so um, let a loved one know somebody that has your phone number somebody who knows where you're going how long you're going to be there and so on and so forth um, so just in case something does happen um, people are aware of where you are and, and they can get help to you can families with young children choose the best spots for a safe and enjoyable experience? Uh, the big thing there is um, nice protected places to paddle, protected bodies of water in other words. Um, so nothing too wide open, um, nothing with land that's too far away. So if anything did happen, it's quite easy to get back to the beach. Um, so that's what I always look for. Um, just small places. And with small places there's probably not going to be a lot of boat traffic, so you don't have to worry about any boats that are bigger than you kind of cruising around and getting in the way. Um, parking access is usually a big one too, especially with little kids. Um, just something that's kind of easy to get from the car to the beach to the boat. Um, that's a huge one too. And, and we're kind of lucky on Long Island. Those places are pretty much everywhere. Um, so the majority of places here are good for families. Um, so again, we're, we're just super lucky that way. One of the most surprising wildlife encounters I've had on, on the water. Um, I've had a lot. I, I paddle year round, so I've kind of seen, you know, I've seen dolphins, I've seen seals, I've seen crazy birds, and so on. Uh, but I said one of the coolest things, actually two of the coolest things, um, was kind of off Manhattan. I was kayaking kind of down by the Brooklyn Bridge, and a hawk swooped down and caught a pigeon in midair right in front of me, so with, with the city in the background. So that was pretty amazing. Um, second one, complete opposite side of the island, so all the way out on the end of the North Fork, Orient Point, kayaking there, and ended up right smack in the middle of this, the biggest um, feeding frenzy of bluefish I think I've ever seen. So just probably lasted 20, 25 minutes or so, and just bluefish as far as you could see, just coming up to the surface, jumping, eating, slapping against the kayak, and that was just, that was a unforgettable experience that day. Um, I've never seen that before, and I haven't seen it since, only once, but it was amazing, it was incredible.